Good afternoon, everyone. So today we're going to start solving systems of equations by substitution, which means that we're not going to use a graph and we're not going to use any kind of calculator. We're going to do everything by hand. So for today's notes, I suggest having a piece of paper that you can write on so that you can write everything with me. Or I have attached a PDF that looks exactly like this that you can print out so that you can write with me, whichever way. Okay, so let's look at the top. I wrote out all of the steps that you're going to need to do when you're solving by substitution. Step one is to isolate the variable in one of the equations. Remember that isolate means that you're just going to get it all by itself. Step two is to substitute the expression into the variable of the other equation. Solve for the remaining variable. Plug in the value in one equation to the other variable and then write the solution as an ordered pair. So I know it seems like a lot of steps, and honestly, it is kind of a lot of steps, but it's nothing that you guys can't handle. We've solved equations in class before. So let's look at example number one. For example number one, there's my system. 3x minus 4y equals 8, and then 2x plus y equals 9. So if I look at step one, it says to isolate the variable in one of the equations. So I'm gonna pick an equation and get one of the letters to be by itself. The, ver the easiest thing to do when you're doing this is look to see if any of the variables have a coefficient of one. So if you look at equation, let's number this. So this would be equation one and this is equation two. If you look at equation two, see how y doesn't have a number in front of it? It doesn't have a coefficient. That means that that's going to be the easiest variable to get by itself. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to rewrite it really quick. 2x plus y equals 9. What would I have to do to get y to be by itself on the left side of the equal sign? I would need to move 2x. And we always do the opposite. Since 2x is positive, I'm going to subtract and then do the same thing to the other side. So then that leaves me with y equals negative 2x plus 9. It's plus because that 9 was positive. So for equation 2, instead of using the one that they gave us, I'm going to go ahead and scratch that out. I'm going to use this as my new equation 2 because y is isolated. It's by itself. Okay, so all of that was only for step one. Okay, for step two, let me write in a different color. It says substitute the expression into the variable in the other equation. So you see how we're saying that y equals negative 2x plus 9? Well, I'm going to go to equation number one, and any time that I see a y, I'm going to replace this whole expression into where y is at. So 3x minus 4y equals 8. But now let me do my substitution. 3x minus 4, but instead of y, you see all of that is equal to y. I'm going to plug it in for the y that's here. So negative 2x plus 9. And then it still equals 8. So I want to make this clear. The only thing that changed is the y value. So this y value, I replaced it with this entire portion of the equation. So that expression went into y. Okay, but now that I've done that, I'm going to simplify this equation as much as I can, and I'm going to solve for x. So we've technically already done step two. We substituted but we're going to do step three at the same time. We're going to solve for x. Okay, so 3x. Now I need to distribute. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8x. And then negative 4 times 9 is negative 36 equals 8. Combine our like terms. So 3 plus 8 is 11x. case, I'm going to add my 36 to both sides. 
11x equals, what is this, 44? And then the last step is to divide by 11. So x equals 4. And that is step 3. So, so far we're 3 fifths of the way done. We're still not done. Because when you're finding a solution to this example, since there's two equations, 1, 2, we should have two numbers. So we already have x. Now we need to solve for y. So that is the next step here. Plug in the value into one equation to solve for the other variable. So since we know that x equals 4, we need to solve for y. And equation number 2 already has y by itself. So I'm going to use equation 2. Let's free write it over here. y equals negative 2x plus 9. But this x, I'm going to plug it in here. So now I have y equals negative 2 times 4 and then plus 9. So y equals negative 8 plus 9, which gives me that y equals 1. Okay, and then the last step says to write the solution as an ordered pair. Remember that ordered pairs are always x comma y. So our solution is going to be 4 comma 1. This is the official answer to the whole system. That means if we were to graph this, they would intersect at the point 4 comma 1. So that's our official answer. Okay, now let's go to the second example. So we're going to do the same thing all over again. I have x minus 9y equals 25, 6x minus 5y equals 3. The first step says that I need to isolate the variable. So I'm going to number my equations. This is equation 1, this is equation 2. Which one is going to be easier to isolate a variable? Okay, it's going to be easier to isolate the variable on equation 1 because x has a coefficient of 1 already. So I'm going to write it down here. And if I wanted x to be by itself, I need to move 9y to the other side. Since it's negative, we do the opposite and we add. So that gives me x equals 9y plus 25. So we're going to not to use this equation anymore. We're going to use this equation as equation number 1. Okay, but now we are going to plug in that expression into x of the second equation, so equation number 2. So if I have 6x minus 5y equals 3, I'll have 6, but instead of x, I have that entire expression, 9y plus 25, and then the rest of the equation is going to stay the same. Okay, now we need to solve for y, so we're going to distribute the 6, 6 times 9 is 54, y, and then 6 times 25 is mm, 150. Minus 5y equals 3. Combine our like terms. So the first one and the third one both have y's. We can put those together. So that's 49y plus 150 equals 3. Let's subtract 150 from both sides. So 49y equals negative 147. We want y to be by itself, so divide by 49. And we get y equals negative 3. Okay, but now that I have y, I need to plug it into the equation so that I can figure out what x should be. 
So I'm going to use equation 1 since x is by itself already. Okay, but instead of y, we already know what y is. It's negative 3. So we're going to get that negative 3 and we're going to plug it in where the y is at. Okay, then let's solve this. Negative 3 times 9 is negative 27 plus 25. And if you do that addition, that gives us negative 2. Okay, so now my last step is to write my solution as an ordered pair. So remember we always write it in that order, x, y. So it's going to be negative two comma negative three. This is the main answer that we're gonna use. Okay. And one last example. Four x plus y equals negative eight. X equals negative two y plus five. So remember we wanna isolate the variable in one of the equations, equation one, equation two. But if you look closely, equation two already has the x by itself. It's already isolated. So that's one step that we're not going to have to worry about. So we could just use these equations the way they are already. So I'm going to get equation 2 says that this is equal to x. So in equation 1, anytime I see an x, I'm going to replace it with the 2y plus 5, so 4, negative 2y plus 5, and then plus y equals negative 8. See how the only thing that changed was this x. Okay, now we're going to distribute. That gives us negative 8y plus 20 plus y equals negative 8. Combine your like terms. So negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. Y. Okay, then we're going to subtract 20 from both sides. So that's negative 7y equals negative 28. Divide by negative 7. Y equals positive 4. Because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Okay, and then now, since y is already solved for, we're going to get this y, and we're going to plug it into equation number 1. So I'm going to rewrite equation number 1, 4x plus y equals negative 8. But this y value, we're going to plug it in here. So that gives me 4x plus 4, because that was the y value, equals negative 8. But we want to isolate x to solve for it. So I'm going to subtract the 4 from both sides. So 4x equals negative 12. Then divide by 4, which gives me x equals negative 3. Okay, so last step is to write our equation, or I'm sorry, our solution as an ordered pair. So normally it would be x comma y. So what is our solution going to be? Negative 3 comma 4. That is our final solution. Okay, and that is how you solve systems of equations by substitution. So like I said, I know it looks like a lot of work, and it is a lot of work, but it's solving equations. We did that at the very beginning of the year. So this is more of a practice of solving equations and how to substitute and how to combine like terms, all the skills that we learned at the beginning. If you have any questions, make sure that you send me an email or a message through Remind.